thing is a great big movie star with a beard. <laughs> He's uh, produced a new documentary, Side by Side, which is a video on demand and iTunes now. Please take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome Keanu Reeves, everybody. Yeah, yeah you, you look sensational, man. Well, thank you, Craig. And that's not just the cold medication talking. I'm telling you. <laughs> you look great. You've got the beard going on. It's very dynamic. Oh, uh, thank you very much. No, it's good. Yeah. Do you, are you like Robin Williams? If you grow a beard, you want an Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, all right. So listen, tell me about the side-by-side the -side movie. You're interviewing James. Is he really as much of a douche as everyone says no. he is? No. <laughs> No. No, is that what they say? No, no they don't. He's lovely. I just... The man's a genius. Yeah. So. Oh, sure. He's a great personal friend of mine. We play golf all the time. What the yeah. hell, man? <laughs> he's lovely. Um, yeah, side by side documentary about the uh, art, science, and impact of digital cinema. Oh, yeah. And. Uh, Are you for it or against it? I'm for it and against it. I'm against it because it might be the end of film. Yeah, I think that's bound to happen at a certain point. I mean, papyrus came to an end, you know, uh, it'll happen. No, no I'm serious. Technology years. changes, you know, it does. It does change, and so the documentary kind of looks into what are we gaining and what are we losing. Do you come to any conclusions? Do you think that... Uh, do you think? Well, I think if film goes away, we're losing a lot. The way it looks, the way it feels. But it surely, isn't it, isn't it possible to recreate that with digital technology now, to, to make that look? Yeah, I mean, you could put artificial grain into it. I guess you could give it a look. Yeah. But you're still dealing with ones and zeros. You're, lo you're losing the materiality of things. Yeah. You're talking like it's the Matrix, man. <laughs> There's so many things in life we're losing a kind of materiality, a, a, a haptic quality, a contact. Are you are you uh, are you uh, a, a bit of a luddite in that regard? Do you no. you, you don't like new technology? No, I, I love new technology. I mean, I love the. I mean, obviously, what we can do with digital. I mean, in the documentary, we kind of take you through some of the. We go from like traditional film methods and right. photochemical and then the impact of how it's changed, like how visual effects have changed. Right. I mean, the documentary covers, you know... It, it, what, what did you shoot it on, the documentary? Digital. Oh, did you? Ah. <laughs> Which is okay. Yeah, sure. I'm not against yeah. digital. Yeah, I'm not, absolutely. I'm not, you know, it's I mean, fine. It's just, you know, I mean, we show examples, you know, we'll give a point about visual, visual effects and then we'll show a film and clips, so you kind of get a real But if you show a film on... A film clip. I'm uh, calling it a film, a movie, yeah. content. All right, then, man. <laughs> <laughs> you still riding? You still riding bikes? Segway. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I don't do segways. Also, I do motorcycles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or have you gone digital? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You want the real thing. Yeah, no, I do. You, know? you ride an American bike or you ride a Japanese bike? British. British bike? Yeah. Royal well, Enfield? Also, no, a Norton Commando. Norton Commando? Yeah, I remember the also, I've also had some American iron, but do you still ride? Yeah, well, a little bit. I know since my, my last accident kind of like knocked the wind out of my sails a little bit. What happened to you? Yeah, I was on one of them V rods and I tried to go around a corner. <laughs> Were you at a high rate of speed? What's the point of being on a uh -oh. bike, yeah? <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. No, I was uh, I actually I was riding an American bike in Britain. And you know they got their windy little yeah, uh, roads, sure. and I had that big. That's a 600, 700 pound bike, and I yeah. was like, I like, oh, I'll you know, I'll lean, and it'll be, oh, oh, really? yeah, yeah. I brought collarbone and three ribs. Nice. Yeah. So I was like, but every time did you I ride get... home, or did you did you get the bike back up? And you... <laughs> you kidding me, man? I started crying. <laughs> No, I, I, yeah, no, I go back on the bike and I, it wasn't even working. I just, I, with the power of my mind, <laughs> really. No, I was, really, I was messed up. And every time I go on a bike now, I'm kind of like, I, I, I kind of see right. it. It freaks me out. Yeah, Aren't you've it? had some bad spills, haven't you? Um, a couple. I mean, I've lied, broke a tooth and broke an ankle and 
Yeah. Well, this is pretty good, actually. That one. Holy crackers, is that a metal plate or something? No, no, no. I, I took a fender off a car. Using your leg? Yeah. American car or Japanese car? American. That's all right, then. That's some leg you got there. Yeah. Then. So you ride a brace, you ride one of that Norton Command. That's a 70s type bike, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's an old school bike. I yeah. remember that's the kind of bike I wanted when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I could probably afford one now, but I'd oh be dead God. within a fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> that's British for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. How many stone are you? Uh, I'm 200 pounds. What's that in stone? I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. How many stone are you? I don't know. Well, where are you in pounds? I don't know. You don't weigh yourself? I don't, I don't You're so wise. <laughs> Keeps me out of this. You know? Yeah, we're out of time. You want some fruit? I. Uh, no. <laughs> don't want any fruit? What do you mean you don't like fruit? It's dinner, I don't know. Fruit before dinner, I don't know. You don't have to eat fruit before dinner? No. Right. I think we're learning a little bit about the secret. <laughs> yeah, so you're not sure about digital or film, and you don't eat fruit before dinner. Oh, oh. no longer the enigmatic Mr. Reeve. <laughs> you must admit, you are, you're a very private guy. I mean, hardly, I mean, people don't know anything about you, man. Not, not a thing. I thought you rode an American bike and you had proper legs. <laughs> Are you very careful about that? Um, yeah. Seems wise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I never tell MD anything. Really? Yeah, I tell everybody everything. I'm an open book. I'm needy. <laughs> you sure you don't want some fruit? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I could, I got no, no, it was rude of me to turn that down, actually, so, yeah. Well, oh, a pomegranate. Well, I'll take a pomegranate. A pomegranate? Well, look, wait, before you look at it, because a lot of other things there, they go, ah, look at that, you probably like that, you ride a British bike. <laughs> is it, well, there's, yeah, pomegranate, they've got a, one of them. There's one of them here that's like, oh, look at this, it's a little bit like your name, Kiwano. <laughs> What's a kiwano? It's a very enigmatic fruit, man. <laughs> People don't really know much about it. I mean, it's very popular and the girls enjoy it, but nobody knows. <laughs> I'm a bit of a wise ass sometimes, aren't I? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You want to throw it at a commercial break? Yeah, sure. Let's go to a commercial break. We'll be right back, everybody. Katrina poem. I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit for all you. All right, all right. Man, I used to mess with this broad named Katrina. This broad was so bad, you should have seen her. She came through town, she blew all my stuff down, and now I'm messing with FEMA. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's good.